This is the program that's keeping that student in school because they love it. It's hands-on. It's what they have always dreamed of doing. For example, take our collision students, our automotive students. They have the opportunity to apply and go out and do an internship, for example, at Kendall Ford. A lot of times, those employers will come back to us and say, hey, this student did a great job. I want to hire them right now and train them. And that's kind of a goal we've set for ourselves is we want to keep them in Idaho. We want to keep them in our state and kind of grow our own model. We've been growing our own in West Ada for years. It's an obligation we take seriously, and that's why a new career and technical education center is huge for our kids and our community. And that will be located on the grounds of Hawaii High School, and that will accommodate up to a thousand students, high school students every day, giving them opportunities in HVAC systems, welding, cosmetology, all sorts of career choices that will either prepare them for college or prepare them for the workplace. What I continue to hear is it's a responsibility, and I, and I agree with this wholeheartedly, that it's a responsibility of West Ada to produce kids that are willing to come back and want to come back and make an impact on the community and in the workforce in the community. And so we want to provide that opportunity within our high schools. It's no longer just math, English, science, and social studies, but now it's math, English, science, and social studies and this career technical training. Here's the thing, educators and the business community across the nation realize that CTE plays a massively important role in propelling our kids, our workforce, and our country. We have employers calling us. Um, I had one of the hospitals call me about three months ago and said, Stacy, I need you to start a medical assisting program. We have hundreds of jobs in medical assisting. So we're always looking down the road at, you know, labor market data, what what program needs to be that next program for us? There's just a lot of opportunities for, with our kids. Um, we want to continue to expand those opportunities and meet the needs of our community. We've really relied on looking at other entities to see, how did you do this early childhood learning center? How, how did that all come together? And all those pieces of that. So, but you go around the country in CTE, um, CTE centers everywhere, and it's just, it's exciting.